Yo, what's going on? I don't have my camera with me, so I'm doing a cell phone video. My very first uh, piece of shit cell phone video. We're a little slow at work today, so I figured I'd show you some new guns we got in. Uh, we just got this FN uh, 45 at double action. Uh, it's pretty sweet looking, man. Holds 15 plus 1 rounds. Damn. What I like about this over the Glock 21 which I love my Glock 21. It does have a lot slimmer grip. It's easier to hold. Uh, FNs are beautiful. Uh, it says it's made in USA. Um, I like them because everything on them is uh, ambidextrous. They have thumb safeties, but they don't get in your way. I don't mind a gun with a thumb safety, but I hate when they protrude out too far and they get in the way of my grip and I don't know where to put my thumb. It gets in the way of my thumb. But these, as you can see, are very low profile. This camera doesn't uh, recover fast with focus, so I can't pick the gun up and, you know, and be fancy. You know, I'm just giving you a, a you know, just standing here with the camera like a dork. You know how out of breath I get? All I'm doing is talk. I'm getting out of breath. Could you imagine if I, like, run up a hill? Like, if I had to run for my life? If I had to run for my life, I'd probably make it to... The first lobby, maybe the second lobby doors, and I probably collapse and pass out on the pavement outside. Whew, I need to get on a treadmill. But yeah, there is the uh, beautiful FN57. That is a sweet looking pistol, a double action. Now, if you come over here, I gotta move the camera slow because it's, it's crapola. We have another one. There it is the Beretta 92FSM9. And it's beautiful inox, beautiful stainless. Look at that thing. Does that thing beautiful or what? I love mine. My two favorite guns right now that I just bought, and it ain't because I just got them. Because I there's a lot of times where I bought a new gun, and I'm like, eh, not really. I'm liking it, but I'm not going. It ain't. It's not tickling my my uh, scrot hairs at all. You know, this gun. It's such a great gun to shoot. I hope you get a good one. Uh, we do have one at double action. There it is, one. And uh, it ain't going to last long, I'm sure. But if you're local, there it is. And they are $6.95. And that's a great price for that compact Inox, beautiful Beretta. And, uh, <clears throat> hey, Matt, you see that shell holding that gun up? That's the snap cap that I thought was a snap cap. See that? I'll tell you that story later. Uh, but yeah, I just want to let you know there's one of those up here. I'm just showing unusual guns. You guys seen all the other kind. And then, I'm trying to be really slow with this camera because I hate blurry videos. Now that's a snap cap. There is a Beretta uh, FS with the rail. Now we don't get them in too often. This one is made in Italy. And it's, it's six something, 660 something. It's a beautiful piece, man. I'm telling you right now, if I didn't have this, if this didn't have the rail, I would be buying this. Because that thing is beautiful. Ain't that awesome? And these guns are here right now. Of course, we got all these guns down here. We got the, uh, I know you guys like these gun shop videos, so I figure while we're not busy, I'll show you some shit. There's a Remington R1 stainless. You don't see a lot of them. There is a Remington R1 blued. There is a Remington R1 enhanced. Alright. And you guys seen that Kimber. These are all the Kimbers. Really, really pretty 1911s. One thing this gun shop always has is 1911s. As a matter of fact, that's what the owner carries most of the time. He carries a 1911. All right, and I think we have a Colt in here somewhere, but it's a 38 Super. There's a nice looking Kimber there. Damn it, damn lights in a way. Now you can see that. Hold up. What a piece of crap. See that? That's a pretty Kimber. That's a. Uh, it's got a four inch barrel on it, so it's like a commander size. Anyway, just wanted to give you guys a quick heads up on these uh, new pistol that came in. Uh, as far as rifles, we can go over and look at some rifles. Let me turn 
very, very slow. Damn, it looks horrible. We got plenty of ammunition here. As you can see, which nobody has. Look what we got. CCI mags up the hiney hole. Got a ton of them. And there's all the rifles up there. Uh, not really anything unusual. I'm trying to think. We got oh, we do we do we did get some unusual ones. We got this new um, Ruger 1022. It's the Talo edition. See the first three black guns. Well, the very first one is a 22. I know it's dark over here. You can't see. And we got one of them, and that is 325 hours. It comes with all ATI. It's all ATI tacked out. I mean, 325 for that. And it's got that beautiful magazine. Just got that in. Actually, we had two. Now we only got one. Sorry, this camera's terrible. I will never do this again. So, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, a lot of people are making comments about, uh, you know, uh, why am I putting music in my videos? I don't usually do that. But when I when I get a gun that's super super, exci I'm super excited about. That's how you know when you see music in the video. That means I am like loving this gun to pieces, which is the uh, BKSG so far. We're gonna shoot the piss out of that thing. We're gonna shoot slugs, buckshot. We're gonna shoot everything through it. You know why? Because it's designed for it. It's a heavy combat gun. It's not. It's not. A lightweight by no means and I will prove it to you and we still have this shit hit the fan kit you get the tube uh, it's called the just in case and you get the shotgun and the tube and the kit and everything for 389 I gotta go something else I wanted to show you guys we got these Sig Sauer 22s in I'm definitely in the market for another 22 I'm a very big fan of the 22 caliber. Why ain't the camera focusing? There it is. And uh, these are freaking sweet. It's a 1911. How nice this is. That beautiful. You got to see the magazine that comes with this. It's thick, heavy steel. I mean, it's a 22, and the magazine is just so beautiful. It's it's all made in Germany. It's it's uh, real heavy steel. Damn, that is really really nice. I thought my Ruger uh, 2245 had a nice mag. This thing, that is a nice magazine. I don't know how much these are yet. Sorry about the camera. Hold on. Jesus, I don't know how much these are yet. Uh, we're waiting to put a price on it, but uh, I might end up with one of these. Sig Sauer. It's got that matte, dull, matte finish on it. It's like my favorite finish. It's got these dark burgundy wine grips on there against the black. Man, this gun is nice.